Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Black Ops 4. So something really strange has been happening over the course of the past couple of days. Those of you who do not own the Black Ops Pass may have noticed that DLC 1 and DLC 2 multiplayer maps have been showing up in the rotation. And not only that, you've been able to play those multiplayer maps even though you haven't purchased them. Well, initially it looked like this was just a glitch with Treyarch themselves even acknowledging that they were aware of the issue. But then today they revealed that all Black Ops 4 DLC DLC will be free for everybody until March 18th. Now, to be clear here, we're not talking about what we see with Modern Warfare Remastered on the PlayStation 4, where basically if you download the game between now and the end of March, you can have the game for free and you can keep it forever. What we're talking about here is basically just a free trial weekend where the Black Ops Pass maps will be available to everybody, but at the end of the weekend, if you haven't purchased the Black Ops Pass, you will no longer be able to play on those maps. Essentially, this is going to be a marketing strategy to sell more season passes, but in the meantime, it should be a lot of fun for every single Black Ops 4 player. Now, what makes this even stranger is over the course of the past week, I personally, and let me know down there in the comments what your experience has been, I have not personally seen a single DLC map in the rotation in a very long time. While people without the Black Ops Fast are able to play on these maps, I have yet to even see one of them show up. And like you guys are seeing here with the gameplay, I wish I had some background footage on the new multiplayer maps, but I've used all my background footage on the new multiplayer maps. I have literally not seen a DLC DLC 2 multiplayer map in over a week, and it's been like a month or so since I've seen the DLC 1 multiplayer maps. This is one of the many reasons why I say that the Black Ops Pass is simply not worth it. It's overpriced, we're over 5 months into the game's life cycle, and we've only received 4 multiplayer maps, and even then, you barely get to play those multiplayer maps because they rarely show up in the map rotation. That's not even taking into account all the problems with dividing the community and the inevitable day where we will all have to uninstall the DLC that we paid for once the Black Ops 4 life cycle is over, but regardless, it's looking like DLC 1 and DLC 2 multiplayer maps are going to be free for everybody this weekend, and that should in theory be a lot of fun. Basically, this weekend is going to be what the Call of Duty franchise should be all the time, right? DLC being free, everybody having access to it, everybody being able to enjoy the DLC content, and basically, the game just should be a lot better this weekend in general because everybody is going to have all the content, and to go along with this, Treyarch is going to be activating double experience in multiplayer, double merits in black, out and double tier progress in the black market once again during this weekend which will be going away on Monday March 18th so be sure to carve out some time to play this weekend if you guys haven't already but last but not least let's wrap up this video here today by discussing the Shamrock Naw event. In my previous video I discussed what a massive disappointment that the event was because all we got on the multiplayer side of things was basically a $20 bundle that mostly gave us blackout content. For all intents and purposes Operation Shamrock Naw is a paid event here in Black Ops 4, which is absolute nonsense, but a lot of people were holding on to hope that Treyarch would be adding a new battle pass and new content later on in the event. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. I could be wrong, but so far, it does not look like that's going to be the case, because in today's blog post, which, by the way, link to that down there in the description, Treyarch recapped all the Shamrock Nog content, and yet again, they made no mention whatsoever of more content being added in the future. The other day, they also gave us a community update video, and in there, they also made no mention of any new content being added to Operation Shamrock and Nog, and in general, there has not been a single official word over the course of the past couple of days that even hints at anything more coming to Operation Shamrock and Awe. Now, it's entirely possible that more content will be added when the Alcatraz expansion comes to Blackout, but as of right now, we don't know exactly when that is going to be. All we do know is that Shamrock and Awe is going to last until the end of March. So at the very earliest, it appears that the Alcatraz expansion could be coming in April, but between now and then, it does not look like any more content will be added to the game. It seems like what we see is what we get when it comes to Shamrock and Awe, which is a massive disappointment when you compare it to Modern Warfare Remastered and Call of Duty World War II. And speaking of World War II, I still strongly urge you guys to go back and play that game every now and then. Sledgehammer Games did confirm that roughly 10 new weapons will be added to the game later on in the spring, and with Shamrock and Nod lasting in Black Ops 4 all the way until the end of March, it's entirely possible that the new weapons update in World War II will go live at some point in April. Therefore, because of that, it's a really good idea to start going back now and start working on your daily login bonus, as well as doing a bunch of daily orders and daily contracts, 
to start saving up your armory credits as well as your supply drops for whenever that update goes live. Again, we don't know exactly when it's going to be. It could be at any point between now and the beginning of summertime, basically. All they said was it's going to be at some point in the spring, but it's going to be coming sooner rather than later, I would imagine, and it's really fun to go back and play the game, in my opinion, because if you've played Black Ops 4 like I have so much over the course of the past five months, it's a really nice palate cleanser to go back to World War II, and it's also fun knowing that when you go back to play World War II, you're still actively working towards something, right? You're working towards getting those new weapons when they come out, as compared to what we see here in Black Ops 4, where you can also get the new weapons as soon as they come out, but you have to pay for them, right? If you want the new guns, the moment they come out, you have to drop 50 to $100, or you can grind a bunch, right? But the thing about grinding in Black Ops 4 is, my goodness, it takes so freaking long. Like, for example, for context here, I just now, last night, unlocked the Rampage Shotgun. I just now got it. I'm like, tier 52, 53, something like that. I am still a ways away from the Switchblade, which I'm happy that we can get the weapons for free. That's a really cool thing. I also really like the Battle Pass system, more or less, right? But when you look back at what we saw back in World War II, while the system was not perfect, it was kind of nice knowing that once you got the new DLC weapons, you could then start saving up all of your credits, all of your supply drops, all of your everything, and then get instant access to the new weapons the moment they are released. I remember they would drop like... I don't know, four or five guns on us at one time, and I would have all of them immediately, right? That was a really cool feeling because you could put in the work ahead of time, whereas here in Black Ops 4, you basically have to wait for them to drop the new weapons and then start working for them. It's a bit different back in World War II, and in my opinion, it's really fun to go back and play this game, so I highly recommend it if you guys are feeling burnt out on Black Ops 4. But ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you guys here in this video. A free DLC weekend is coming to Black Ops 4 this weekend, and they're also going to be activating double experience, double merits, as well as double tier progress, so be sure to carve out some time to play Black Black Ops 4 this weekend if you guys haven't already and let me know down there in the comments have you gone back to play World War 2 and if you are going back to play World War 2 are you enjoying the game leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments thank you guys so much for listening and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day